Hello guys, this is Dan and uh, welcome back to the Swiss Network. Today in this tutorial I'll show you guys how to do a bit of photo manipulation in Photoshop. Um, in my previous speed up, The Lost Temple, I was requested by some person and I also had a few emails saying how I did the photo manipulation of my temple model from Cinema 4D and made it look like it was part of the image. Um, it's actually quite simple, um, just as long as you know what you're doing, <clears throat> it's quite easy to do. So, um, I'm going to quickly open up my GFX pack. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go to my collection of stocks and I'm going to find a cool stock to sort of blend this in. So I'm going to go to my landscape and mountains and uh, I'm going to find something. So if you look here, I, was, I, have, I remember I had this stock from a while ago. Uh, this stock, someone's done the same sort of effect and uh, you can see where the image has been photo manipulated because you can see where this is a bit, bit blurry, not blurry, faded, I should say. Uh, so that's yeah, pretty cool. And also here, you can see the grass looks, his feet look like they're in the grass. So that's just an example, as well as my tutorial, it's on my speed eye itself. So I've got this image here, this looks alright, it looks like I could do something with it. So I'm just going to drag this up there. And we'll quickly just get rid of this. There we go. <coughs> Okay, so we've got like a background type here, so I'm just going to call this um, backdrop, small backdrop in the background, and I'm going to delete this layer, like so. Now I'm going to create a new layer. Okay, so once we've created our new layer, um, we're just going to quickly import our model or stock or image, whatever you want, uh, to sort of put it in. Now I actually modelled the angle of this temple to sort of fit with the, my stock that I'd already picked. So I don't know how this is going to turn out. It should work fairly well. Uh, if not, then I'm not too sure what we do about that. Now, if I want to, I could just quickly show you what I would do normally, uh, how I'd get this to blend in. So I'm just going to put a duplicate layer in case I do it wrong, or something I don't like, uh, and then I have to do undo loads. That is sort of the general idea of doing this, it's pretty much that. And that makes it look like the stock's in the background, behind the trees. Uh, that's the sort of general idea. Um, I don't want it to go up there, I want it to go down here into the foreground of the image. I'm just going to shrink this a little bit actually because it's quite big. Like a 1900 aspect project. So that already looks kind of realistic with the background itself. Although you can see the texture of the ground changes here and here. As I zoom in here, you can see that it, there's a like bump in the ground. So for this bump, uh, I'm going to quickly do a faded out razor brush. And I'm just going to turn it down using the left bracket, or turn the size down. I'm just going to sort of drag fade it into the background and let you do that. There you go, you can already see that starting to look more realistic because you can see the bump in the earth of the ground here. It looks like this is actually set further down uh, into the ground and that makes it seem more legit. Uh, another technique to make it seem more realistic is to create a new layer, drop it behind the thing. We'll go to a brush, make sure it's a faded brush, fairly small, uh, about 50 pixels or something. That was good, 50 pixels. Uh, once you've done that, you're going to set the colour to black, so just press D on your keyboard. Uh, we can just quickly drag a line underneath the object here. And once you've done that, we're just going to turn the opacity down to about 60%, and uh, maybe on overlay or something on screen. I'm just going to keep it on normal. Uh, we're just going to move this in a bit, like so. And that gives it sort of a darkened sort of drop shadow almost type of effect that you can see here that makes it look like it's part of the ground still so that helps um, but I'm going to quickly blur that bit in there and uh, blur this bit in a little bit here so it looks like the ground sort of risen onto the image as you can see Uh, the best part about this is it just it doesn't need to be perfect. Uh, that's why I really like photo manipulation. It's just what looks best, uh, really. So I think that looks best there. 
make it look it's fading out. And then this is when this comes in really handy because you can move it under here a little bit. I'm just actually delete this and do it again because I change the shape quite a lot. Keep it under here. And that. 50% opacity. And then I should come to the eraser and sort of erase that away. So that's looking pretty cool already. Now on my temple layer itself, I'm going to then uh, actually burn it with the burn tool. I'm going to burn into it a little bit so it darkens along here and darkens back here. Each stroke uh, burns the layer. So there you go, that's looking a little bit better already. And it looks like it's a bit more with the environment. Okay, so that, now the image looks like it's actually inside the picture itself or the stock. Um, we're going to focus on we're going to focus on what we can do to make it look like it's actually with the background because at the moment it's just a grey scaled image and the background's got loads of colour and texture. And the first thing you can do is just add a gradient overlay. Uh, this really helps. You just set that to overlay. And uh, select colours from the environment, so that one there, that green, don't have them there. Uh, that cool green back there, and a sort of lighter green from here. Like so, and then I'll have like an olive in between. Uh, we can set this to like 75 or 60% opacity, and it uh, looks pretty awesome. Um, so that's looking fairly cool so far, but now we need an overlay of some sort. So um, you can either go on the internet to get images, or you can sort of stay in here. But I actually want like a sort of grassy overlay. Uh, and if you wanted to make this image really good to blend in with the background, you can get some vines and sort of make them wrap around the pillars. Okay, so now we have this grass texture. We can just sort of drag it over the top of our layer. And to do a layer mask, if you don't already know, uh, I'm just gonna put this. I'm a perfectionist, um, press alt and come in between the layers and you'll get a little box for a down arrow, press the left click and it will overlay. Now we're going to select a blend mode, so I normally just click blend mode and then I can just sort of press the down arrow from there on to go through the blend mode. That blend mode looks pretty cool, it's colour dodge and we want this quite a faded opacity, so there you go, 20% looks pretty awesome. Another technique that I do is I just change the underlying layer and blend grey colour tones of the thing to make it look like it's more with the image. So go to 100%. Do you see that sort of looks like it's got grass climbing up it? Uh, looks like it's more with the background now because of the gradient. So, but if I turned off the gradient, so I go here and uh, effects off. You can see it, it doesn't look like part of the background still. Just that texture and the gradient itself helps. So that is pretty much the tutorial guys, um, there's not really much more to it, it's just apart from making it look like it's with the background and then uh, making it suit its environment, that is pretty much it to do with photo manipulation, adding images. If you haven't already, there'll be a link in the description to check out my Lost Temple speed art of where I model this temple. And also, uh, there will probably be a link in the description which I'll update later on at some point. Um, I will do a Aztec temple model tutorial uh, and speed art. For the speed up first, and there's enough requests that happen, I will do the tutorial for it. Um, so that'll be a pretty cool speed up to watch because uh, yeah, I've got some good ideas. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave a thumbs up on this video, it really helps us out. Like, understand what content you like, and leave a comment if you need any help or um, you enjoyed this tutorial. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching.